folks, and uh, welcome to Rock House Reviews. Today we are going to be assembling a Rocky Mounts Backstage 2 Swing Away Bike Rack. This is a rack that's designed to mount on a 2 inch hitch. And as you can see here, we have an 18 inch extension coming out from our GMC 2500 HD. Rocky Mounts does not recommend using anything longer than an 8 inch hitch extension, which you can pick up on the Rocky Mountain site. Uh, the difference between that and some of the hitch extensions you may buy at your local supplier like Northern Tools or Harbor Freight or uh, Lowe's, any of the big box stores, uh, is that the inside of the Rocky Mount 8 inch uh, adapter hitch, there is a welded on nut that allows you to screw it in tight. And what that does is it pulls it up against your hitch here and it eliminates any kind of wobble. That thing doesn't move at all. Now, I will tell you that Rocky Mounts uh, will not warranty your bike rack if you use anything other than their 8-inch hitch extension. Um, I let them know that I couldn't use an 8-inch extension. We're putting a, a truck camper on top of this truck, and it has a wraparound bumper, so we couldn't get a bike rack on there unless we use this 18-inch extension. So we're going to give it a try. We realize it may void our warranty, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Now, when you order this, uh, you can get it from a number of different places. There's Rack Attack, uh, Amazon.com, uh, directly from uh, Rocky Mounts uh, in Boulder, Colorado. Great folks to deal with. We received ours today. It comes in. It's a swinging platform hitch mount. Uh, open up. You've got your instructions. Uh, you'll have everything that you need to put this rack together, with the exception of a Phillips head screwdriver. It does come with a 5 millimeter Allen key. Uh, you've got a little pack here. It's got your lock in it. It's got your uh, screws in it. It's got the adapter piece that goes in, screws in and holds uh, the rack up against your hitch. And then you also have uh, a couple of wrenches and your Allen key that goes in there with it. So we'll come back in just a few minutes and we'll get started laying everything out and see how long it takes to actually assemble this and install it onto the truck. Thanks. Hi, welcome back to uh, Rock House Reviews. Um, now we have unpacked the Rocky Mount Swinging Platform uh, Hitch Rack. Uh, we've got the receiver unit set out. Went ahead and set the trays out, the locks, the cable, all of our uh, screws, the receiver unit here, uh, the wheel stops. And we'll walk you through uh, exactly how long it's going to take to put this together. So I'm going to set a timer on it and we will see I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch the entire process, but we will see exactly how long it takes to do this, starting now. Even by making a mistake and putting one of the arms on backwards, you can see how easy it is to assemble the Rocky Mounts Backstage 2 Swing Away Bike Rack. 13 minutes and 40 seconds. That's not bad. Next, let's load up some bikes on there and see how it works.
There we go, two bikes on. Now let's uh, try the swing away function. First, unlock, spin this around until it releases. Pull your lever up. Bike rack will swing away. And as you are swinging it away, you have another lever here that tilts out. Both lock in place. Gives you plenty of room in a truck to let your tailgate down, or if you have a sprinter van to be able to open the doors. You may have an issue with one door coming all the way over to this side. The clearance here, Rocky Mountain States, is about 43 inches. And from the very center to the outside is about 67 inches. So, my next stop will be to put the camper on, reload this rack, and make sure we have enough to swing out. But it's a pretty sturdy rack, considering. And to pull it back in, tilt there. And pull up your release lever. And it will ratchet itself right back into place. Locks into place. Tighten it up. You are good to go. If you need to lean it down, it's a nice tilt down function as well. There you go. Rocky Mounts Backstage 2. I think we're going to like it.